What's up guys, Matco Michaels outside. We got a couple of broken tools and we're gonna get him to warranty some stuff out. So you guys come along, take a look. Pretty day today. We show everybody the damage that we do. Uh, rough on some stuff this week. Hey, Boy, this right. one had a bad casting, so we really can't fault that. And this was just had a bad day. <laughs> Well, y'all knew last Friday was going to be a bad day. Anyway. I told you ahead of time on that, and I knew it was going to be bad. Be well, we got everything done, all the hard stuff, and put the fuel tanks up there in the saddle where it works. So we got to have them to, uh, he's supposed to bring it back in tomorrow so we can put the new saddles on. Well, sorry, the, hard part the hard part is done, Wally. I don't know, how many bits do you go through, Wally? I don't know yet. That's why I was telling him when we walked in, we need to go through a couple. <laughs> it's a bunch. I know one of his bits is like an inch and a half shorter than the other one now. Brant new bits, too. Brant new ones. All them Brands don't play. Matco hats. What you wearing today, Wally? You got a snap on on too. What up, Mercy? All right. Hey. That's crazy. Every one of us had a snap on guys? on today. Flip sockets. Michael, I tell you something else I'm gonna buy. I got a, we're putting together our boxes on our service truck, I got two of those triangle boxes, you know, one of them's a Montezuma, one of them's a Store Smart. Yeah. And I want to go with a set of your screwdrivers for one of them. <laughs> I like them things pretty swell. I'll tell you what, those pliers that I got from you last week like this, but the darker color. Yeah, they're right there. Yep, that right there. Them things are nice. Nice, nice, nice. We call that a Mississippi metric wrench. <laughs> it fits everything. That's it. Mississippi metric. What color screwdrivers you got up there, Bill? You need to pick us a set out for the service truck. Mm. It's orange. You got most of the tape, huh? This is orange or nothing, huh? huh. Torch. I may not have them today. Don't tell me you ain't got no screwdrivers. Yeah, I got some orange ones over the cab. I was showing them all the What? I just put that in the car over second. That ain't no big deal. Ain't no hurry. What else was it, Wally, we needed a little lady's foot? Yes. You got one of them? The little bitty lady's foot? Lady's slipper? Like, yeah, yeah, or even that's index fine. like that, it's fine. Uh, about yellow. I don't have that. I used to sell them in the three kit, and I sold the last one last week. It's been sitting on the motion shelf for a while. Well, snot. Most people use them to get injectors out of diesel. That's what we yeah. need it for. Yeah. Look, there's a the pad for. I got. Yeah, I had another shop that had broke one, and he just took the only one I had. Is this the deals that you put down in your toolbox and it's got the little... That is. The Orenhauser grid. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever seen them? You need to look at this right here. If you want organization, that's ultimate organization. I've seen that box in there for like two months and was wondering how it all set up. It'd be worth displaying See, that right well, there showing. Here's, here's the thing. I, that's, been, that's been the idea 
to display it. But I found out that Maco actually has one that's a display, so that's what I'm waiting on to come in. But thinking about taking that top drawer and opening those up and organizing it all out, that way everybody can kind of see how they work. So the cool that. part about it is it's completely uh, customizable too. You yeah. can put stuff wherever yeah, you want. Yeah, it's an empty slate, yeah. So it, it allows you to put your wrenches, your sockets, your bits, pliers. Clay real quick, you got to put one back. Oh, just finding it's them. Sliding. It's really, really nice. Oh, I can promise you, Clay knows what's missing and what's not. How much that one is? Let's see, hold on, I'll slide that out for you. Let me rephrase this. Clay knows that Wally has been That one's longer, ain't it? Yeah, that was a long one. Says not I. Uh, don't never misplace nothing. Hey, he's doing them injectors up there right now, and I loaned him my index and it was pry bar. Found it because he broke his, and he goes, "I just had that thing here somewhere. I don't know what I done with it. I don't know what I did with it." He, he don't just lose them after the job. He loses them during the job. <laughs> <laughs> That's talent right there. Talent. Not anybody can do that. <laughs> what else we got to have, Wally? There was, something, there was something else we were struggling with this week. I can't remember. I wish I had the camera rolling on that. Tell them what happened, Bill. Ask me if you had a tape measure. We're trying to measure a pry bar. I said, you got a tape measure? Yeah, it's in a cab. I said, oh, you don't sell them? Yeah. I said, you've only got one? I guess I got yeah. <laughs> no tape measure? I guess I gave it away. It's supposed to be off what? Damn, give it away. You give away a tape measure. I didn't mean hey, to. Wally had been riding in your truck, has he? Because I lost your tape measure. No, I So this one's got three pry bars and two screwdrivers. Three pry bars. Yeah, three pry bars. I wish I had number three in there. So yeah, I have an eight piece and a ten piece as well. How much is this one? One fifteen. My price. I mean, that's what I run for. You got a number three Phillips? Michael. Man, man, listen. See, what, what had happened was. Uh -oh. What happened was, uh -oh. I can't buy no tools if they ain't on the tool truck. No. Golly, I guess we'll go to Walmart and buy some of that Stanley shit. And we need a tape measure, too. Yeah. You'll have that. Buy some Stanley's. I need to get a fuse for mine. Sure enough, I need some for mine, too. Tell everybody why we gotta have fuses, Wally. Because they're blown. <laughs> what did you do, Wally? No, oh no, it wasn't Wally this time. <laughs> Wally said hook that thing up to the battery, so I hooked it up to the battery. I had it on we hand. Meant in a series it. through the ground side uh, so we could check for a parasitic drone. Shoot, Bill said, I'll light that some bitch up for you guys. <laughs> I'll blow her plumb off the front of the truck. Hey, it I'll, registered for about two seconds went zero. I was wondering why the negative cable was off the battery and when I hooked the negative side up, it sparked. Like, hmm, that ain't right. <laughs> Me and Wally both at the same time was, ah, too late. Too late. Do you carry the fuses for the flute? Yes, sir. Uh, mine's the same ones as uh, 115 there. Just about. There we go. Well, I guess we'll do this one. Somebody's gonna get me for doing that. I'm, I'm just gonna you. you just like pry it on your circuit board. It'll still work. That thing's been run over by a forklift. Sure did. And the damn leads look 
<laughs> it was all, uh, they had some, what would you call that, uh, squishment issues, <laughs> to say the least. Compression or yeah. compact or something. It was compacted pretty hard. Want them up pretty good. Whoops. This has a thousand bags, mine's a 600 bag. I don't plan on playing with a thousand. If it'll work, I don't really care. There you go. Take a hammer and beat on it now, make sure it goes in there good. <laughs> <laughs> still works. So shoving a screwdriver in there for a pry bar does not hurt a flute meter. No, it's good for them. Hammer down. Hammer yeah. down. Good for <laughs> Let her eat. All right. You might need to put a, put a disclaimer in the video on that. Yeah. <laughs> Do not shove screwdrivers through. Uh, Somebody will be looking for you again while they've been trying to find your address so they can come and... Oh, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I've had, oh, sorry, Hamilton. BSB, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I've had the snap on that right there, both black pepper, and that right there is a lot better than me. Michael, he's saying your meat is outstanding. It is outstanding. <laughs> Best meat I've ever had. All right, guys. So we got some tools that we warranted. He's got them on order, so we'll have them probably next week. Like always, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there because why? Totally free. It won't cost you a dime. Ever. Is hopefully. it as good as Michael's meat? That's a hard decision right there. <laughs> you guys have a great one. Catch you next time. Yeah.